Casey Affleck has starred in a string of hit films from blockbusters like the Oceans Trilogy, where he played one of the Malloy twins, to the intense 2007 thriller Gone Baby Gone, directed by his brother Ben, and the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, which earned him an Oscar nomination. Now Casey stars in the gritty new heist drama Triple Nine, where he plays a clean new detective surrounded by a group of dirty cops. Here's a look. This ain't a game, Chris. The rules around here different. This ain't Buckhead, all right? So you better learn fast. Hey, man, let me tell you something. If you got a problem with me, put it on the table. But don't pull me aside and question me like you know something I don't know. You let an a like that bow up on you in front of the whole neighborhood, you're the one who's got some explaining to do. Casey Affleck, good morning. Good morning. You know, you've got a, a heck of a cast here between Anthony Mackie, Kate Winslet, Woody Harrelson, Chidwell Edifor, Aaron Paul. What was that other name? Chidwell Edifor. You raced through that one. Kept moving. I was really carrying me through. Carrying me through. So thank you for not calling me out on that. Aaron Paul, Norman Reedus. What was it like on that set with all that acting power? Um... I was a pain in the ass. I was got, you know, <laughs> they're all so damn good. Um, you know, in this movie, it's a big ensemble, so I didn't really always see them. They weren't always there on the mm -hmm. set when I was there, thank God. Um, Woody Harrelson. Uh, although I'll tell you a quick funny story. Woody's first day, Woody's kind of a nut. He showed up, and they gave him a very easy scene just to start. It was his first scene in the whole movie. He's supposed to come driving down the street, park his car, get out, and walk up the steps to, to see me. And that's, you know, fairly simple. And uh, Woody takes his first take. He comes racing down the street. He hits a tree. He jumps no. out of the car. His head is bleeding. Jeez. And he runs up the path to me. And I figured everyone would just like descend and stop yeah. and rolling the cameras and lay Woody down for a minute. But Woody just carried, carried through the scene. And it was like, okay, so I guess that's, that's how we're going to play it here. Oh my God. Yeah. Did that make it into the final that, that cut? It in the movie. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's always the best, that's the best The part. unexpected, yeah. right? So, to, so who is your guy in this big landscape of characters? Who is your character? Where does he fit um, in? Um, I play uh, 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 sort of the only, I'm the good guy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 There's a bunch of bad guys. How's that? That's good. I got it. <laughs> you play a lot of different and very intense roles. What was it that drew you to this? I mean, besides an incredible cast. Um, well, you know, I played a lot of, I played a lot of, Bad guys. Yeah, and I wanted to do. You know, this was kind of different. He was a, a has a real kind of simple moral code, and he, you know, real uh, simple sense of sort of right and wrong, and that seems appealing to me. I wanted to play a, a police officer. I like the script. John Hillcoat's the director. He's uh, really talented, sweet guy. So you know all that. You got a lot in the on the works. Uh, the, your la your latest film at Sundance, Manchester by the Sea, has got a lot of buzz about that. Uh, tell us about that. Um, that is written and directed by Kenny Lonergan, uh, and um, it was, uh, it's one of these, it was a very beautiful script. Uh, everything he writes is, is exceptionally uh, well written, and um, um, I don't know what else there is to say. It was uh, just one of the really small movies, and, and, and it uh, ended up uh, turning out just great, and they took it to Sundance, and I've been in a lot of small movies that I thought were going to be great, and they didn't turn out so great. So <laughs> this is one that turned out better than I, I could have imagined. A lot of good talk coming out of Sundance about that. You obviously have worked with your brother Ben quite a bit. Uh, you've said he's your sounding board when you're considering a role. I've got to ask you about. Why. I've got. To, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. Got to ask you about Batman. You as excited as his fans are? Um, I don't I haven't talked to many of his fans, but I but uh, they're excited. Let me help you out. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. How excited? Yeah. I'm so very excited. excited. This is the this is the movie everybody wants to see: Batman versus Superman. Superman. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's it. Versus Deadpool. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanna. I'm excited. I wanna see it. Yeah. You sound excited. Yeah. You I sound am thrilled. Real, I am thrilled. thrilled. Yeah. Let me try that again. I'm so excited to see this movie, guys. Much better. He barely can contain himself. Could yeah. you just go and drive a car into a tree? And <laughs> Casey Affleck, thanks. Triple Nine in theaters this Friday. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.